Today I'm going to talk about my love of sardines. <laughs> um, yes, I love sardines and I think they're highly underrated and underappreciated, so I'm going to talk about them. And I brought props, so get excited. <laughs> Um, I'll just get right into it. My favorite sardine, I've tried so many kinds of sardines over the years. Um, I, in my long-standing relationship with, with these small fish, um, and I've come to know my favorite um, brands and um, such, so I know what I like. My favorite is um, Brunswick sardine fillets in spring water. And so the only ingredients in this are sardines and spring water. It says product of Canada, wild caught, sustainable. Um, that's all the important things. Um, these are my absolute favorite, like I said. Just the taste of them and the size is perfect. And it's the one can is three and three quarters. Um, ounces, which I find is like a perfect amount for um, either a snack or if I put it with like a huge salad, it becomes a meal. And they're so delicious. It's definitely like all time top favorite. And you can get those on Amazon. I get them on Amazon in, in an 18 pack, if that gives you any idea of how much I do love them. Uh, for 18, it's like just over $22, so it's a great deal. They're very, very affordable food. Um, so I buy them regularly by the uh, 18 pack, and it's great. Um, in second place <laughs> are these. So this is Bumblebee, a, a brand that we're probably all familiar with um, in terms of tuna. But these are Bumblebee sardines, again, in water. These, however, do have added salt which doesn't bother me. It's a product of Poland, same amount, um, wild caught. And um, the salt doesn't bother me because um, it just doesn't. I'm not afraid of salt. And in fact, going off on a tangent that I won't go down, but I used to um, restrict my salt intake quite purposefully because I thought salt was bad. And I ran into some health problems specifically because I had a salt deficiency and um, bad things started to happen to my body. So uh, when I reintroduced, to, to make a long story short, when I reintroduced salt into my diet, all was good and my energy went up and my vitality and everything just cleared up. So I'm, I'm not afraid of salt. And in fact, I find it to be absolutely necessary uh, to the diet, contrary to public opinion, but um, that's the beauty of being an individual. I get to choose what goes into my body, so <laughs> um, I'm a salt fan. Anyway, moving on, these are the third. So this one, in its beautiful packaging, I'll just say that, uh, it's Bella brand Portuguese sardines in spring water. So these are what I go to when I'm feeling a bit fancy. <laughs> Um, just kidding. Well, not really. I mean, if I'm feeling a bit fancy, I will kind of treat myself. These are a little bit more expensive, I will say. I bought these at, I believe, Fresh Time uh, Market. Um, not sure whether that's a nationwide um, establishment, but um, I think they sell this brand at Whole Foods, too. I think I've seen it at Whole Foods. But these are wild-caught, all-natural, packed fresh. Again, about, well, this one has four and a quarter ounces, so it's a bit more um, that weight, um, but these I really like because not only do they taste really good, but these have, they're heavy on the bones, I will say, which I like because that means that they provide substantial calcium, um, whereas fillets, um, they don't have the bones. These don't have bones, which makes them I guess more palatable to people. I don't mind bones, and in fact, I sometimes look for fish with bones because I eat them. I eat the bones, and um, that gives me natural calcium. So I these have bones, these don't. So that's why I eat so many different kinds of sardines because I want to kind of switch it up so that my body gets 
everything. Um, if some, if one product is lacking in something, then the other will kind of make up for it. That's my philosophy. So, um, this is another, um, these aren't sardines, but these are mackerel and mackerel and sardines. Um, they're all in the herring family, small fishes, small oily fishes. So they're pretty much all the same thing at the end of the day, just an omega three rich, small oily fish. Um, so these are mackerel, um, Portuguese wild cut in olive oil, extra virgin olive oil and sea salt. So these are great too. Oh, another one of my favorites, um, sustainably harvested. Um, it's the only ingredients are mackerel, extra virgin organic olive oil and sea salt. And um, these provide a really large amount of calcium, like almost 20% of your daily value if you eat this whole can, which I do when I eat this. So these are great. Um, same brand as this one. These are sardines and this is mackerel. And I eat both, not on the same day at the same time, but um, I eat both of these. These are great, highly recommend. And again, I think you can get this brand Bella at Whole Foods and probably like, we don't have sprouts where I live, but I've heard on the West Coast, I believe, um, a lot of my friends, they talk about sprouts. So I think sprouts is like equivalent to like a Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I could be way off, but from what I can gather, it's like a um, grocery store that is kind of like a Whole Foods type of thing. And the last one that I buy regularly and I like and I enjoy are these bumblebee wild sardines again in olive oil this is an excellent source of calcium and uh, omega-3s DHA and EPA um, and these are kosher if that matters to you so that's great um, and this is another one that this whole container provides 25% if you eat this whole thing which again I do when I eat this it provides 25% of your daily value for for calcium so if you eat this like twice or three times a week not only are you getting a like a power pack of omega-3s which are great but you're getting a lot of calcium natural calcium um, so this is another one I these I will have to admit I, not that they're not great, but it comes down to a taste preference as many things do, but I'll just say that these are what they call, um, it's like a bristling sardine. And what that means is there's like a smoky flavor to it, which I don't enjoy as much as say this, my favorite. This has, as far as sardines go, it's very bland, which I like because I can jazz it up in my salad with like, um, you know, the Japanese sesame seed seasoning that I use and yada yada, I can jazz this up and make it taste the way I want it to taste. Whereas this one, the flavor is difficult to mask. But if you like that flavor, then it's great. I don't typically like things that are smoked, um, like smoked meats and things. Like I'll eat them if they're offered to me, but I don't go out of my way to like eat that type of flavor. Like I don't like smoked bacon and things like that. Again, like I'll eat it, but I don't, I don't enjoy it. <laughs> but, um, so I, I prefer to eat things that I enjoy, obviously. Um, but if you do like that smoky flavor, these are lightly smoked. So they do have a, to me, they have a very distinct smoked fish flavor, um, which, as a person who doesn't like that, I don't mind. So there you go for whatever that's worth. But yeah, I just wanted to share um, my love of sardines because I eat them sometimes four times a week, five times a week. I, in other words, I incorporate them into my almost daily diet. It, in one meal or another, I try and consume some type of canned fish daily. I do. Um, and if it's not this, I will uh, cook myself wild sockeye salmon, another like oily fish. Like I'll switch it up 
and I'll eat, you know, if I ate mackerel the day before, I'll have salmon or I'll have a serving of sardines or I'll have um, a serving of like pickled herring. I'll just switch it up, but I'm a big fan of small oily fish, specifically sardines, because they're affordable, they're accessible, and uh, they're delicious. So I, if, if you're one of those people who kind of turns their nose up at sardines because they think they're icky, um, it, maybe you haven't even tried them yet because the idea grosses you out for whatever reason. Um, try them because they're so yummy. They're, I swear, they're really, really yummy. Um, and they're a staple in my diet. I love them. I recommend them to everyone and everyone I have recommended them to who thought they were icky and gross, they've come back to me and said, Jennifer, they're so good. And I said, I told you so. They're just, they're delicious. And people, I think, get the wrong idea about them because they smell like fish when you open the can. But um, I guess if you grew up eating fish, that's not a problem. So it's not a problem for me, but um, I highly recommend. And they're great for your skin and for your for the inner health and your organs. And they're just fantastic. So try them out and to your health.